Mark locations for each vertical whaler along the wall. Do not exceed six foot on center or three feet from corners. A general recommendation is for five foot on center for eight foot walls. For walls with parallel joists, place the joist bracket between the first and second joists from the wall with the joist bracket adapter hanging below the joists. Drill 3 8 inch holes through the joists at the bolt hole locations. Attach the bracket with 6 3 8 inch bolts, washers, and nuts. Measure from the floor or footing up to the height of the threaded rod on the joist bracket. Cut the whaler to length such that the threaded rod is in the center of the slot at the end of the whaler. Set the whaler with floor bracket in place at the joist bracket location. Install the threaded rod through the slot on the whaler and into the joist bracket, hand tight. Ensure the vertical whaler is plumb. Drill two half inch holes at least four inches deep through the holes in the slab bracket. Install two half inch by four inch tighten screw anchors or equivalent expansion anchors. Install diagonal bracing in at least three joist spaces behind the bracket. In the first two joist spaces, install an X pattern. In the third space, have the diagonal brace going up towards the floor away from the wall. Attach each brace with four quarter inch by inch and a half SDS screws. Solid lumber blocking may be used as well. Tighten the nut on the joist bracket. Do not exceed 30 foot-pounds of torque. For walls with floor joists running perpendicular to the wall, hold the bracket up in the joist pocket behind the face of the wall and mark the location for the bolts. Drill 3 8 inch holes at each bolt location and attach the bracket with 6 3 8 inch bolts, washers, and nuts. The bracket may also be installed in front of the whaler pushing on it if there are obstructions in the joist pocket. Install the vertical whaler in the same manner as shown for the parallel joists. No blocking or diagonal bracing is needed for the perpendicular joist bracket. When installing whalers with an interior drain tile system, the cores of the blocks will need to be drilled at an angle behind the whaler to allow for drainage of water from the walls. Install a small strip of encapsulation behind the whaler and butt the safe edge up to each side of the whaler. Seal the edges of the safe edge to the whaler with polyurethane sealant. Safe seal may also be used. The rest of the interior drain tile installation proceeds as normal. This concludes the installation of the safe base vertical whalers.